My dad probably touched just about every form of motorsports there was, from boats to Indy cars to drag racing to off-road racing. If you told him you can't do it, I mean that's like raising the red flag. It was like, okay, let's go. The whole score deal has started certainly a long time ago. My dad came into the shop one day and said, well, I think I'm going to start promoting races down in Baja. If we don't go down there and promote something, there won't be any more races down in Baja for the, for the 1,000 and the 500. So there, from that first statement that day, I mean, when we started, we had, you know, no rule book, no technical stuff, no pit boxes, no, no anything. The plan just emulated from right there and it started and the guys that were in the shop and on the race team basically became the people that were original score thing. But I didn't realize the massive amount of work it was to start an organization from scratch. In 1973, I was at my hotel and Mickey Thompson walks up the lobby and he says, I want the Baja races and I'll write you a check right now. So I talked to the Lieutenant Governor and I even put Mickey on the line with him. That evening at 11 o'clock at night, he calls me up. He says, Nico, I want to thank you. I already got the contract. It's going to be the beginning of SCORE. Sal Fish is going to run it. And I'm not going to have anything to do with it except I'm going to drive. And he's going to have fun with it. We were racing Baja 500 and Parnelli and my dad were big rivalries and both really, really fast. Parnelli started, I think, five minutes behind us and there was a big bet who would make it to San Quentin first. And anyway, we beat him there, changed all four tires and got them changed and left before Parnelli got to us. Not terribly long after that, we hear somebody, right? Well, there shouldn't be anybody touching. All of a sudden, bam, somebody hits us in the back, right? It's Parnelli, he had caught us. And, and my dad says, loosen your seatbelts, turn around, tell me where he is. I'm going, now we're already, you know, boop, 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 and I'm loosening my seatbelts and now I'm doing play by play. And so the canyon's real steep and I say, he's on your right, he's on your left. And I said, he's upside down, he's upside down, he's on his side. And he was, Parnelli was sliding on his side and I could see him. All of a sudden he hits this big rock, bounces him back on his wheels and he shoots by us. I thought, well, he's gonna really get back on it. This is gonna be a war. I said, hey, pay attention. And he said, People have got to see what just happened. I grew up racing down here in Baja. Uh, I come down as, as, a, as a young, you know, before teenager, young kid. Um, with my father, we'd go pre-running, uh, hung around obviously the likes of Pernelli Jones, Mickey Thompson, and Walker Evans, kind of the icons of, of off-road motorsports. So I'd have to say Mickey's probably my hero because he had the vision of what off-road racing is, and he wanted to bring it to the masses. When I was young, it was very hard because I was Mickey's kid. I'm still Mickey's kid, you know, and very proud of it. It's pretty cool when you hear Robbie Gordon mention my dad. My dad was just an absolutely amazing man. I mean, the things he did and the things he accomplished, to me, of course, I'm, uh, I'm way biased.